Hello friends. I hope you all are doing well. Today we will talk about risk assessment, the objectives of risk assessment and several steps involved in conducting a risk assessment. Let's start. Risk assessment is the process of identifying, analyzing, and evaluating potential hazards or risks in a workplace and determining the measures that can be taken to control or mitigate those risks. The goal of a risk assessment is to ensure the safety and health of employees, customers, and the public, and to protect the environment. The key purpose of conducting a risk assessment at work is to identify, assess, and control potential hazards that could harm employees, customers, the public, or the environment. The ultimate goal is to create a safe and healthy workplace that minimizes the risk of accidents, injuries, illnesses, and damage to property. The specific objectives of risk assessment include 1. To identify potential hazards. A risk assessment helps to identify all potential hazards in the workplace, such as chemicals, equipment, processes, and working conditions that could cause harm. 2. To assess the level of risk, the next step is to assess the likelihood and severity of harm that could result from each identified hazard. 3. This information is used to determine the level of risk associated with each hazard. 4. To prioritize risk control, based on the level of risk, the risk assessment helps to prioritize the implementation of control measures to reduce or eliminate the hazards. 5. To comply with legal requirements, in many countries, risk assessments are required by law, and employers must demonstrate that they have taken steps to assess and control workplace hazards. 6. To improve overall safety and health, by conducting regular risk assessments, companies can identify and eliminate potential hazards, reducing the risk of accidents, injuries, and illnesses. The key purpose of risk assessment is to protect the safety and health of employees, customers, the public, and the environment by identifying, assessing, and controlling potential hazards. There are several steps involved in conducting a risk assessment. 1. Identifying the hazards. The first step in a risk assessment is to identify the potential hazards in the workplace. This might include physical hazards such as slippery floors, biological hazards such as toxic chemicals or infectious diseases, and ergonomic hazards such as repetitive motions or awkward postures. 2. Assessing the likelihood of harm. Once the hazards have been identified, the next step is to determine the likelihood of harm occurring as a result of those hazards. This involves evaluating factors such as the frequency and duration of exposure, the severity of the potential harm, and the vulnerability of the population at risk. 3. Evaluating the level of risk. After the likelihood of harm has been assessed, the next step is to evaluate the level of risk associated with each hazard. This involves combining the likelihood of harm with the severity of the potential harm to determine the overall level of risk. 4. Determining control measures, based on the level of risk, the final step is to determine the control measures that can be put in place to reduce or eliminate the risk. This might include engineering controls such as installing ventilation systems, administrative controls such as implementing safety procedures or personal protective equipment such as hard hats. Here are some examples for better understanding. A risk assessment for a construction site might include the following steps. Identifying the hazards on a construction site. Potential hazards might include falls from height, electrical hazards, heavy machinery, and exposure to toxic chemicals. Assessing the likelihood of harm, the likelihood of harm from falls, might be evaluated based on the height, the frequency and duration of work and the availability of fall protection equipment. Evaluating the level of risk, the level of risk from falls from height, 
might be evaluated based on the likelihood and the severity of the potential harm, such as the risk of serious injury or death. Determining control measures, to reduce the risk from falls from height, control measures might include the use of guardrails, as well as providing training on the proper use of fall protection. This is a general example, and the specific steps and control measures may vary depending on the nature of the workplace and the hazards involved. However, this process demonstrates how risk assessment can be used to identify and control potential hazards in the workplace.